Hi guys, Miss Spitzer here. I'm going to show you how to edit using the color splash mode method. Alright, so we're in Photoshop and bear with me here because I'm using a MacBook and you will be on a PC, but it should be fairly similar. Alright, first we're going to need to create a new document. Make sure you're changing your image size. We'll do 8.5 by 11 with a resolution of 300. Click OK. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just paste my picture in. You can go ahead and just place yours in. Um, okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate the layer. Okay, So to do that, you can just hit Control J. And now look over here on your right hand side in your layer panel, you'll see that you have two layers of the same exact thing. Okay, Next thing you want to do is go ahead and hit Control U. Okay? It's going to bring up your hue and saturation. You're just going to desaturate all the way to negative 100. It's going to make your picture look black and white. Go ahead and click OK. Right. And the next thing we're going to do is create something called a layer mess. You're going to go up here to the top, click on the layer uh, where it says layer mask, click reveal all. And again over here by your layers um, you're going to see a white box form next to your black and white layer. Okay. Alright, so go ahead over to your brush tool over here on the left. Okay. Okay. You might want to adjust your brush size depending on the area that you're going to be creating the color splash. Okay, And here where it's black and white, you're going to want to make the top black. And you're going to do that by either clicking this little reverse arrow thing, or you can also just click on the X and it, well, you see it'll go back and forth here. Okay, So, once you're ready to go, you'll decide what area you want to reveal. Right? And you'll just take your brush tool and you will paint on basically the layer that is underneath your top layer will be revealed. Okay? And if you want to change your brush size, the easiest way to do that is the brackets. Okay? Right bracket makes bigger, left bracket makes smaller. If you want more precision, you can zoom in or zoom out by control plus or control minus. And it's as simple as that. Let's say, oops, I made a mistake. I made a mistake right here and I drew a part on that I wanted to stay black and white. It's as simple as clicking on the X or right here on the left hand side where those arrows are and making sure the white is at the top and just going back in and touching up those areas where you've made a mistake. Okay. And once you've hit all those areas that you want to be colored then you are done. It's that easy. Okay, and file, save as, and I would probably save that as your color splash.